Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're in the workshop now. Um, I've got set up a piece of ash here. This is long grain, okay? You can see I've just worked on it a little bit just to uh, get in there so I can um, start to show you how far this tool will undercut and basically how it works. Just one little tip. If you do use the bushing, just as a little tip, put the screw, so the, the uh, hex screw, on the underneath of the tool. If you have it on the top, it'll fill with dust. Put it underneath and it won't fill with dust. Makes it easier to get it out should ever you need to, to put it on another tool or whatever. So, the tool wants to be horizontal. The cutter is already set at the right angle for cutting. Okay, so you don't want this front bit horizontal like that. You want the bar itself horizontal and the cutter wants to be in that angle there. Okay, so the bar horizontal. Make sure that it's not up like that on that corner or up like that on that corner. Make sure it's sitting nice and square onto the bar and the cutter itself wants to be right on the center line. Okay, now then, we're just gonna switch the lathe on. I, I, something like this, it's not a big piece. Most of you know I like to turn fast anyway. So I'll turn this at a, at a sedate 2000, okay? Just to give you an idea of how the tool works. You'll see how it cuts and to be honest, I always prefer to cut from the outside into the middle. If you cut that way, it, you can cut that way if you want, but it's sometimes too efficient. I find you've got more control going, to, going against the grain. You would hollow a bowl out that way anyway. Actually, you, sorry, going with the grain. You're gonna hollow a bowl out that way anyway. It just seems, seems common sense. So, let's switch the lights on. There we go, 2,000. I'm gonna make a couple of cuts here. I am just touching the wood with the tip of that tool. Just striking it off. Let's open it up a little bit. Just playing that down nicely. Just feeding it in, just letting the tool do the work for me. Very, very, very little pressure there. Right now, you see, there's a lump of wood here which is higher or above the cut where I was cutting there. So what we do is we take this down first. Take that to the middle. Then we can make a sweep. Tell you what, let's just get rid of the shavings. We can make a sweep from here. right through to the middle. Let's just stop that and have a look. The better you can control the tool and strike an arc, the cleaner you're gonna cut. Look at that. Even, well, there on the long grain, nice. Short grain, sorry, long grain, nice. Even on the short grain, that's really nice. This tool is a cup cutter. It's not, not a scraper. The cutter is actually a cup cutter, which gives you, gives you an actual cutting edge. It will not, as I said earlier, the cutter is only set so far from the bar and therefore it won't self-feed. Any scrapers will self-feed. This one won't. Watch. I'm going to switch the lathe on, back to the speed it was. Just going to hold it back here. You can cut, then when the cutter stops cutting and the wood hits the bar, it stops cutting. Very difficult, I went, I went on that side there, that's why it flicked, watch. Very difficult to catch it, if that was a scraper, it would just self-feed, you'd get an almighty catch. Let's clean that up, okay, hold on, let's show you the surface. <laughs> clean that up a little bit, look, there, rough as, as bad, rough as a badger's ass. So, and there's a little bit of worm in this as well. Turn this up to there, here. Let's get rid of that little lump first. Back round to the edge. One nice controlled sweep. Look where I've got my finger supported. I'm using that finger and that thumb and kind of using them as a pivot point and letting the tool feed through as I need to make that cut. Let's do one more. Yep, 
you know, for beginners who haven't quite mastered how to um, how to use the, the gouges and stuff like that, these are perfectly safe. Uh, that's the number one cut cutter. The number two will take a slightly bigger cut and give you a slightly better finish because it's a bigger radius. Let's just make a few cuts under here. You can see the worm there, but generally, look, end grain nice and clean long grain and that's ash ash is usually quite a, a coarse open grain timber let's just see how far we can undercut with it so we'll make a little cut here first and then get rid of, rid of some of that that gets rid of the wood in front of the cut when I want to sweep this round Nice undercut. Very difficult to do that with a gouge. A scrape is going to tear the wood. Bring that to the middle and then finish off the middle. One more. Bit further round. You can see the shavings are stuck up under there. That shows you how undercut it is. Again, I'll just move that into there. Don't worry about the worm. Look, nice clean cut end grain there. Long grain there, nice and clean. Very little sanding. There, a lot of control, great cut, uh, doesn't sell feed, very, very easy. You know, I've said this before, wood turning has moved on now. It doesn't really matter what tool you use, it's the end result that matters. How you get there, as long as you're not doing anything unsafe or dangerous, really doesn't matter. Hollow forms. Uh, tools have adjusted and changed to do what we want to do. There's nothing wrong with using carbide tools. Nothing wrong whatsoever. It gives you a decent finish. It's safe. It's easy. I have no problem with them whatsoever. So, hope you enjoyed that. And um, again, oh, one more thing. The undercut tool. Let me just get that for you. I didn't put a footer on it. It works exactly the same way. Um, this one, though, would get you much further underneath. There isn't a long sweeping neck on it. That means you would have to have the tool down here resting there before you even make a cut. You haven't got the control. So this is just scooped out enough that is thin enough to go under a small into a small hole. We can get we could get right under there and cut right up into here, sweep it round, take it so far, then pick up this tool and go further around. You'd be surprised <coughs> at what you could do with those two tools, okay? So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, see you around. Take care. Have a nice day.